the best-selling author, a podcaster, a motivational speaker. She's here to share her latest book. It's called 100 Days to Brave. Please welcome Annie Downs. Welcome, Annie. I love so I want to get your your subtitle to your book is a devotional for unlocking your most courageous self. Yes, sir. What kind of courage are we talking about here? Any kind. Really? Here's, yeah, because I think one of the things. In fact, we were talking about it a minute ago. One of the things that people think is that courage is big, and that it has to be these big, brave things. When really, it's these everyday decisions in your life that are brave. Like if we had time to sit down and get coffee, and you told me some of your story, I go, that is so brave. And you, go, no, I I had to do that. No, you didn't. Yeah. You didn't have to do oh. that. All these little decisions you've made are building you in to a braver person all the time. That's oh. so interesting. Do you think that being brave is something that you have to be born with? Like you're born a brave person or is it something you can learn? Good question. Well, I think it's both, right? I do think we were all born to be brave. It's these little seeds that are in us all the time that there are this opportunity to go, am I willing to grow that? Right? Am I willing to push into that? And so I think, yeah, we were all born a little bit brave. But then as you grow up and make choices, you get to decide, am I going to do the thing that's a little bit harder and a little bit scarier, or am I going to sit back and let life lead me? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you also talk in the book, there's daily devotionals that you, that you look toward. Um, and one of the, th there's, there's two that I saw that were really interesting. One was um, reveal a secret that you have, because I imagine the burden of carrying that. Mm -hmm. So that would be courageous. Mm -hmm. There's one though I, I, I'm going to try to poke a hole in because okay, I don't understand it. The other one was rest. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. It, now? What do you? Uh, Kim's on my team. I'm <laughs> well, I feel it. I feel she's it. <laughs> she's always resting. Just so you know. Why is that courageous? Like what? Right. So I mean, this is probably true for y'all. It is for me. Life is super busy. Yeah. And there is always someone who needs something, and it actually takes courage to say it matters for me to stop, and it matters for me to take care of myself. Oh. In fact, I take wins because I travel on weekends. I take yeah. Wednesdays off. And there are always emails to answer on Wednesdays. Yeah. And there are always phone calls to answer. And there's always a grocery store stop that needs to happen. But I can't. I got a yeah. Sabbath on Wednesdays. I got to rest. Than and all. that takes courage because the world says they need you seven days a week. They don't. Sure. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. And I know. My kids are like, Dad, I need to be fed. I'm like, no, well, you don't. No, you don't. To humans. <laughs> it's okay to say no sometimes. Right. Sort of. right. I always tell myself. All right. That. What did you say no to? What, 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 what in the face of, you know. Well, fear or whatever. I guess I, well, my thing, I guess that I think of in my life when it's facing my fears or courage or something, um, it was when I was on The Bachelor, actually. I was, I had to leave The Bachelor. every step of the way out. <laughs> <laughs> every step. Now that but scares I, I me. Choose, I worked at Facebook at the time and I had to choose to leave that show to go back to my job because I loved my job so much yep. and I was a career woman. But then I was, so I worked, yeah, I was on my Facebook crew back in 2009. Oh, so, and I had stock oh. in the company, not a ton, but you know, it was <laughs> yeah. early days. And then they asked me to be The Bachelorette. And look at this thing, I worked for two years to get this job. I joined their soccer team, everything. And yeah. then they said, come back and be the best right. There's me and Chris Harrison um, back in 2010. Oh but it was such a hard decision for me. I cried for days. I had conference calls with all my friends and I finally made a decision to do it. And honestly, for years after, because my relationship from the show didn't work out, for, for a long time, I thought I didn't make the right choice, you know, and I realized only years later that like being brave in that moment is exactly what I needed to do to put me where I am now. Now I work for this incredible yeah. show. I have a husband who loves me, two, two, a child on the way, a child like my life is so beautiful now and it's because God, I'm going to cry, but it's right? because I took that step that I had that courage in that and moment. no one else would look and go like, it's brave to be on The Bachelor, but like, I, I think it's brave to fall in love. It's yeah. brave to try and it not work. And it's brave to leave a job that you're not sure is going to be there when you get back. I mean, all that is super courageous. It was sure. Facebook, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Facebook. Right. The Facebook. Zuckerberg. Right. <laughs> you got <laughs> Um, I want to, Kimmy, bravest thing you've done? Well, you know, very similar to Allie's. So I was kind of hesitant because I feel like it should be, you know, this really big thing that, um, but I was in a job. I was on a trajectory towards my career. I was anchoring and reporting in upstate Michigan, the Upper Peninsula. That hair. Nice hair. Oh, nice hair. Hair. Actually, actually, let me take it back. My hair was it. reporting. <laughs> <laughs> my hair was Can your angry. next beauty segment be on how to do yes. that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just anyway, crazy. and so I, I loved what you said about how don't let life take you. You have to take life because I interviewed, yeah. you know, my husband and um, he was an actor out here and I made the, the choice to come out here. And it really was scary because I already had my mm. life planned out there. Yeah. So, and I'm glad I did. Yeah. Right. Allie. I want to go to Maria though because I know you had a 
decision that you faced that you've been keeping very personal. Yes, and um, so as you guys know, I have two beautiful boys. I have a four-year-old and a four-month-old. Um, and between the babies, this is something that many women have dealt with in their lives. But I was halfway through my pregnancy, um, between the babies, I was halfway through a pregnancy and I lost that pregnancy. And it was the most devastating thing. And I realized so many women out there have dealt with this loss and it made me, it empowered me to know that other women have gone through it mm -hmm. and were brave enough to go on. And I thought that, me personally, I think it's brave to talk about. I also think it was yes. brave to want to have another baby and go through that process Absolutely. again. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that when you are brave and recognize in yourself that you're doing something that's brave, that it changes, it really does change your life. I mean, ever since I lost her, I mean, I know I have an angel guiding me and I live my life twofold because mm -hmm. I know I'm living for her mm -hmm. now. And it's really just, I'm brave. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you are. You absolutely that. are, you absolutely. And there's this other thing that happens when you're brave and Kim's brave and then it just kind of does like a confetti cannon on everybody yeah. else and it makes me go home and go, well there, I'm gonna get here too, there are things I'm scared of too. And you're saying that I can go again, and so I will, right? And, and that is what happens when your friends are brave, it changes you, and you are doing for women and families out there what you didn't know you would do in that loss, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really a gift, and I'm grateful. So. I'm going to have to try this courage thing on for size. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if I'm comfortable with it or not, but sure. no. Anyway, I just adore you, Maria, and, and Kim for that hair. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> sorry, I have to go to humor because it's always That's important. Right. Humor right. is always I'm important in, in and the face of fear. I always yeah. believe that. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having We've got a tear for that's happening. I know. Yeah, gosh, I can't see right now. <laughs> we <laughs> invite <laughs> you to have the courage to find more information about 100 Days to Brave. And about Andy's podcast, all the wonderful stuff. Um, that sounds fun, by the way, it's her yeah. broadcast. Uh, visit HallmarkChannel.com. You'll find information there. Yeah, so next we have more with our family.